When working in radio mode, you can configure your receiver to work in either fixed bass or auto bass modes. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the fixed bass mode. First you go to wizard, open your project, and then you create a new project. So you select your datum, datum store, and then you click on user defined, and you type your datum name, we'll call this one Mina UTM thirty one, and then you choose your source ellipsoid. We'll be using the WGS eighty four as our source ellipsoid. Then we'll click on OK. And then we select our target ellipsoid. We'll be using the clock 1880. We'll then select our projection, which is UTM. And then we set our zone to 31 knots. Again, you can select it according to your zone. Next, we set our seven parameters. For this setup, we'll be using only three out of the seven parameters, which are the translation X, Y, and Z parameters, also known as the DX, DY, and DZ translation parameters. Then we'll set our JERD model. So we've successfully set up our datum. So now I'll show you how to configure a work mode. So you go to base, click on add, you click on add. And you select your data link type as internal radio. You then go to your start mode and select your fixed position, which will be the mode, and then you save. We'll call it fixed base mode. Now we've successfully set up our two modes for our base receiver so let's do the same for the rover click on rover then you add you select your data link type as internal radio and then you save your work mode So that's our rover internal mode setup. Now to connect to the setup, we'll do the same for the fixed base. So let's open a new project. We'll create a new project and call it project test three. And then we select a datum, which is what we created, Mina 
okay then you connect to the base again we'll select our work mode for our base receiver and this time it will be fixed mode so so we'll have to impute the coordinates for our fixed position and I'll just impute the coordinates the base is configuring so the base is successfully configured now we'll have to connect our rover and select rover rover internal again The rover is successfully connected and now we can go on to take our measurements. Thanks guys for sticking with us. Um, if you liked the video, please do well to drop a like and a comment on what you'd like to see in our subsequent video. Also, don't forget to share. Please be kind enough to follow us on our different um, social media platforms. See you next time.